Hey guys, it's Era, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be my favorites for the month of July, and I have a lot of them, and I have to go to the beach in a little bit, so let's just get into the video because there's a lot of favorites this month. The first item I have to show you is this lotion from Bath and Body Works. It's in Oahu. It's Coconut Sunset, and it smells amazing. I get so many compliments whenever I wear this stuff and I'm pretty sure they still have it at Bath and Body Works and it's probably on sale because you know Bath and Body Works always has a huge sale and the only reason why I started using this stuff is because I ran out of my spray lotion but I actually really learned to love it. Okay so the next favorite is actually a white nail polish. Any kind of white nail polish this is by Wet n Wild and it's in French white, but you can get any white nail polish. But I've just been obsessed with white nails lately. I wasn't too sure about them at first. I felt like it looked like white out on my fingertips, but then I actually really loved it and became obsessed with it. And basically, this is all I wore during the month of July, which is weird because I usually don't wear the same nail polish for multiple periods at a time. Okay, the next item is actually this lip lip shine. It's the Stress Relief Lip, lip Shine by, you probably can't see that, by Bath & Body Works. And this, it's in Eucalyptus and Spearmint. And this is, stuff is amazing. It really helps repair your lips because of the Eucalyptus and Spearmint because those are natural healers. And it just provides, it almost puts a filter on your lips. It makes them all smooth and even. And I love it. And it's not that sticky, but it doesn't like glide off your lips. And it's just a great lip balm. The next product I have to show you is um, the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it's just like the classic gel liner. It comes with a brush, which is actually how I apply what I apply it with but this one is actually really good it's dense it's small it really gets in there and I really like it and I got this eyeliner because it's Jacqueline Hill's favorite gel liner of all time so I thought it must be good and it's inexpensive because it's from the drugstore so it wouldn't win but anyways I don't really wear eyeliner on a daily I usually just wear it at night or at concerts and I've been to a couple concerts this month and every time I get compliments on my eyeliner or on my eyes especially at um, a five sauce concert I went to a week ago everybody was like oh my gosh what are you wearing and I'm like this and the mascara I'm gonna show you in a bit and before I talk about that the eyeliner I was wearing at the concert I've been obsessed with the lights camera lashes by Tarte it's like a mini version of it, but I think this mascara is good for everybody because the brush is pretty small and skinny, so it would work on everybody's lashes if your lashes are straight, short, curly, long, anything. I feel like this mascara would be really good, and it smells good. If that's weird, it smells like vanilla mixed with alcohol, and I really like that scent. But... I think it's just a very natural looking, volumizing, lengthening mascara and it's good for everyday wear if you just want to check on some mascara and like go. I feel like this is a very good school mascara because it makes your eyelashes long and everything but it's not like super crazy like whoa there you put on way too much makeup today. But yeah, I really like it. The only con for this mascara is it does sting my eyes when you tear up. I cry a lot. By cry, I mean like laugh cry. My friends have made me laugh so much I've cried. And it stung my eyes bad enough that I had to close my eyes and like take a minute. Which made my friends laugh so much more and it made me laugh so much more. Thereby making me cry so much more. Thereby stinging my eyes so much more. And I don't have sensitive eyes. Like I can swim in the ocean. I, I always open my eyes in the ocean. And the soft water does not affect my eyes, like, at all. But for some reason, this stung my eyes, but not badly enough that I thought I was blind, that I thought I would never see again. Obviously, 
but I thought that I wouldn't use it. And I like it enough that I still use it, even though it does stink. And I have another mascara. This is Drugstore though. The other one was from Tarte, if I didn't say that. And it's Maybelline. It's the Glossal Chaotic Lash Mascara. I actually talked about this in my last video, the haul I mentioned. And I actually filmed that late June. I was super lazy and didn't upload it until like a week ago. So, but I did have like the whole month to try out the products in that haul. So if you're wondering why I'm talking about this one today, I've don't worry, I've had more than two I've had more than like a week to try this out. I've had a whole month and I love this thing. This mask this is the mascara I wore with this eyeliner that I got so many compliments on. And literally people kept on me like, What mascara are you using? Are you wearing fake lashes? Like, I love your eye makeup and it's all thanks to this bad boy. Like, I love this stuff so much it makes your eyelashes look so like good and full and long and everything and it applies super quickly you don't have to really wait for this to dry like one coat's good enough for school and daytime wear and then you can it's definitely buildable and you can build it up for like nighttime and like concerts and that's what I've done and then it's not like super clean cut like this mascara but it makes your eyelashes look super grungy and edgy and dark and I love it that's why I love it for concerts I think because like I said I don't wear that much makeup I don't really even wear eyeliner I don't do like the wing or anything I just do like a line so I love that it this just makes your eyelashes look so like Put together that you don't really need eyeshadow or a lot of liner this does the work itself so that was all my makeup onto like more fashion stuff one of my favorites this month has been the sunglasses and they're just simple like classic kind of style aviators and I don't know I love them and I wanted to pick up some simple ones because my ones from Vans I had for over a year and they were got pretty grody so I picked up these from North from Nordstrom's for like 10 bucks. The next thing I have, and this is almost a trend that I'm obsessed with, these baseball caps are coming back into trend. And I love them. I love baseball hats. They never went out of trend for me, but I know Brandy Melville and Windsor are both bringing these back and I'm so happy. Baseball caps are such an easy thing to accessorize with, especially if you just got back from a workout or for me, just after a soccer game. Your hair is not going to be on point, it's going to be sweaty and, uh, and gross. And sometimes you just want to go do something right after the game, you don't want to go home and shower. So if you put this on, nobody can tell that you were just exercising and that your hair is a little sweaty. Nobody can tell. Next thing is this Five Sauce t-shirt. This has been one of my favorite shirts of this month, especially after that concert a couple weeks ago. A lot of people thought I bought this online. And no, I just, it used to be a t-shirt. I just cut it up. And speaking of Five Sauce, my favorite song this month has been She's Kinda Hot by Five Seconds of Summer. Obviously, I love that song. My favorite YouTube channels of this month, two smaller channels I've been obsessed with, is Forever as Lucy. She's such a nice person. She's been comment, we've been commenting a bunch on each other's videos, and she's such a nice person. She makes the cutest videos. She makes a lot of DIYs and hauls. She's so cool and she's such a nice person. So you guys should all go follow her and subscribe because she's awesome. And the second channel, sorry, I'm just looking at the names on my phone. And the second channel I want to talk about really quickly is Harry Hernman. Hernman? Hernman? Sorry if I'm butchering that. Me too. I'll have both of their channels. I'll have everything down below, probably on the screen maybe. But anyways, his cha Harry's channel is really cool. It's really cool and you guys should all watch the last two videos he's published because I'll give you a short little summary. 
you guys might or might not have seen the new Descendants movie on Disney Channel. This guy, Harry, really wants to be in the sequel and really wants to just get a chance to audition. He just seems like a really nice person and again, you guys should all go support him. The last two favorites I want to talk about are apps. So the first app I actually became obsessed with because of Alex and Tomo is Snups. Snups, you guys may have heard of Snups already. Snups is a fashion lifestyle kind of app. You can organize the items in your collection into different categories or shelves on the app and take pictures of them and then again put them into different categories and sort them and everything and it's really good for helping you get outfit ideas or like inspiration for like what to buy next because I love shopping and it helps you organize your closet a lot more. So if you want to go follow me on Snaps, I'll have my username and everything linked down below. I know a bunch of bigger YouTubers on there and you can go follow them and you can just get outfit ideas too, inspiration on what to eat, makeup it's just a really cool app i think you guys should check it out and my last favorite and app that i've been obsessed with is is my fitbit i love this thing it's like a fancy speedometer if you don't know what a fitbit is it tracks how many steps you take how long you exercise what's your consecutive active minutes how many miles you walked your sleep pattern i don't know i think it's just a really cool product and idea i hope you guys have an amazing July. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you later. Bye!